This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Wednesday, November 11th, 2015. Euro dollar. So the euro has stalled out right now. The setbacks have stalled out at, after the market traded to about a six and a half month low down around the 107, 106.75 area. The market though should be very well capped into rallies with any rallies seen well capped into the 110 area ahead of what should be a continued bearish decline back down towards the multi-year low from March at 104.62. The recent breakdown below the July base strengthens this outlook and again any rally should be very well capped with only a break back above the 113 area to ultimately negate the current downside pressure. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to make a series of lower tops off that, off that yearly high at 59.30 for uh, all the way back from um, the month of June. And the market looks like it could be entering a period of correction now ahead of what should be the next lower top in favor of a bearish decline. Look for this rally to be very well capped into the 153 area while ultimately a break back below recent lows that we saw down at the 150.27 area should open the door for the next major downside extension exposing the 2050 base going back to April, April of 2015 at 145.66. Dollar Yen. So Dollar Yen has rallied all the way back up to the 78.6 Fib retracement off the 2015 multi-year high at 125.85 to the 116.12 August move. At this point though the rally is stalled out around that 78.6 Fib retracement and it's possible that the market could be looking for a lower top ahead of what should be a bearish resumption back down towards those recent lows. A break and close back above the recent high around the 123.50 area or 123.60 where the 78.6 Fib is would open the door for a full retracement back towards the 2015 multi-year height 125.85 and significant gains beyond that further up. So ultimately we're at a bit of an inflection point with dollar yen. If the market holds below the 78.6 Fib retracement we could see a bearish resumption. If the market establishes above then we're looking at a longer term resumption of the bullish trend. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss remains locked within a multi-day, multi-week consolidation, though ultimately the market remains confined to a broader recovery structure, and this does favor an eventual upside beyond 110.50 and towards 112 further up. At this point, any setback should be very well supported above 107.14, with only a break back below this level to compromise the bullish outlook. Aussie dollar. So Aussie remains confined to a longer term downtrend and the market should continue to be very well offered into rallies. At this point the current correction should be well capped ahead of 72 while ultimately a fresh downside extension is seen back towards those recent multi-year lows just ahead of 69. Only back above 73.82 would compromise the immediate bearish outlook for Aussie dollar. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD is uh, well confined to a very significantly uh, strong uptrend with the market now focused on a retest of the recent 11 year peak from September at 34.57. At this point setbacks should continue to be very well supported around the 130 area while ultimately only a break back below 128 would compromise the bullish outlook. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi looks to be carving out the next medium term lower top after the market recently stalled out shy of 70 in the 69 area and this lower top should open the door for a fresh resumption of declines back down towards the recent multi-year lows from earlier this year in September in the 62 area or from late August. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has rallied up just shy of the record high from May at 2137, though there are signs of the market stalling out in recent trade and rolling back over. Look for a break and close below recent lows that we saw going back to the low of the 27th of October at 2058 uh, to confirm the potential for a top and accelerate declines, while inability to do so will keep the immediate pressure on the top side for a bullish resumption back towards that record high from 20, at 2137. Gold. So gold has collapsed in recent trade with the market breaking all the way back down to the recent multi-year low going back to July which comes in at 1077. If the market takes out this level we could see a fresh downside extension towards the critical psychological barrier at 1000 further down while inability to break below 1077 would suggest that the market is still looking to form a longer term base in favor of a resumption of gains. At, the, at a minimum right now the market would need to establish back above the 1123 area to take the immediate pressure off the downside.